Hi everyone, it's Ola from Shoutout and welcome to another episode of Shoutout Weekly. So, focal length for everybody. That's some pretty cool stuff, but before that, let's see the photo of the week from Shoutout. Aren't you tired of all those technical stuff that you need to understand to make better picture? Because, well, I mean, I am. I'm not a professional photographer and sometimes I'm really confused with all those tips and rules. Ah! Especially with all those books, tutorials, tips and equipment. Yeah, that's a lot. So I thought that the best way to learn and to make my way in this confusing and very fascinating world of photography would be to learn one piece of knowledge at a time. And that is what I'm going to do today. I'm going to tell you something I've learned about focal length and then we will practice with some special contests. So how about that? <laughs> exactly! So let's start. Focal length. What's that? On every lens you can see these little measurements. Those numbers tell you how wide are angles of your photos. As you can see this would be 18mm lens and this would be 50mm lens. So let's see how it changes the perspective. Here we have two different lenses with two different focal lengths. So this one is 18 to 35 mm lens and this one is 105 mm lens. Let's see how my portrait would look like with those lenses. As you can see my portrait taken with 18 mm lens has a very wide angle. It's probably too wide because this lens is mostly used for real life reportage and landscapes. You can also see the background behind me so the depth of field is pretty large. The portrait taken with 35mm lens has a little more blurry background, but you can see the real difference between depth of field by looking at the portrait taken with 105mm lens. Pay attention to the shape of my face and the perspective. It has changed with every lens. But this topic is for a whole new video. So, these examples illustrate how the focal length affects the depth of field. So, to sum this up, smaller focal length affects the larger depth of field. Bigger vocal length creates smaller depth of field. And now it's time to practice. And for this reason I have prepared a new contest. To take part in the large depth of field competition, just click the link below. Ok guys, that's all for today. And let me know in the comments below which focal length and which lens is better for you. Don't forget to upload your best captures on Shotout. And well, if you like what we do, you know what to do. Give us a share, give us a like or give us a comment. See ya! That is what I'm gonna do today. <laughs> Don't forget to upload your best captures on Shoutout. And well, if you know what to do, well, if you like what we do, <laughs> you know what to do.